late summer usually means hot sunny days, but for much of central Nebraska, that wasn't the case. And now in early fall, crops may be feeling the impacts. I spoke with our own Al Dutcher to learn more. Well, what we do is we don't actually measure cloud thickness as much as we measure the total global solar radiation that's coming to the surface. So we're actually measuring to an extent the short ray radiation that's making it through the clouds to the surface. So we don't look at surface depth as much as the total impacts of the thickness of those clouds and how they impact solar radiation coming through them. And could you give us an overview of the solar radiation levels that were measured in August? Yes, and that's the one thing. When we looked at the state as a whole, there was only two locations that were above normal in terms of solar radiation, Scotts Bluff and the northwest corner of the state. The center part of the state was the worst hit. We typically seen for the month and this is generalizing between 15 and 25 percent reduction in solar radiation. But within that third full week of August, we had locations in South Central and Central Nebraska that received one-fifth of their normal solar radiation on the 24th and the 25th. Very heavy uh, clouds, almost real, real foggy, and a lot of mist. And in regards to that solar radiation, what happens to the crops as that solar radiation decreases? Well, this is kind of a double-edged sword. And generally, you would think that solar radiation, particularly central Nebraska and westward, where we have a lot of irrigation, we like to have nice sunny days, cool nights, clear nights, so it goes through its normal respiration. When you increase the clouds during the day, of course, you don't get as much solar radiation and energy absorbed into the leaf matter. But in the same token, you can extend your grain fill process. So the most important key issue is, is that during that time period after you're going through your pollination period and your grain fill, so basically we're talking about that period in September to early October at the tail end of the season, if you don't get too warm, that extending of that grain fill process could become benefit. You get heavier kernels. But if you turn warm and dry, you can speed up that process and you have less grain fill. So I think the big issue this year is if we start to see some problems with yields outside of the normal bacterial problems, viruses, snip, green snap, insects, we're most likely going to find that the solar radiation, decrease in solar radiation did have an impact. And you think that yield loss because of the decrease in solar radiation is specifically going to impact central Nebraska? If it's going to have, have an impact, I would think that that's going to be where the vast majority of the impact. But the problem we have there is we've been persistently wet, so you're going to have to try to offset that with the impacts of the extreme wetness, the wind, the hail, and the disease issues. All of those are our key players this year. So isolating out a single instance of that solar radiation was caused most of yield reductions, if we do have real yield reductions there, it's going to be a difficult process. But I think it is a player. And in the past, you know, agronomically trained, this is one of the things we always were key to look for is a lot of cloud cover during grain field can lead to some serious problems, particularly if the season is cut short. Any idea on specific spots where that could be seen? I know we just say central Nebraska, but any specific spots yeah. there? The, the area from Central City all the way down through Clay Center and about one county both sides of that is where the core of the intense solar radiation decreases were and where our major daily solar radiation decreases were. There's no, you can't find a site within the eastern three quarters of the state that didn't even have at least one to two days where we were 20 to 30 percent lower than normal solar radiation, but we would expect to see that in any given month. But the extent of day upon day upon day is the key issue here.